But um, first of all, I, I was when I was two years old, I was diagnosed with um, adrenal gland cancer, and um, well, for 33 years, I was cancer free. Praise God! And um, thanks to my amazing, wonderful fiance Scott, he um, I was talking about I had a lump, and he was like, "You need to get that checked out." And I was like, "No, no, you know, I drink too much caffeine. Got to lay that off." And he's like, "No, you really." And he he was the he was the one that pushed me to go get tested. And when I was tested, they told me that it was cancerous. And I thought, there's no way it can be cancer. I'm a runner, my goodness, I, I eat healthy. I had run like eight marathons. I was like, what are you talking about, cancer? And after chemo, this time last year, I had like hardly any hair, so I got to wear a ponytail this year. <laughs> Woo! And I was genetically tested for the, we have this called TP53, the Lafamini gene. If anyone's kind of worried, because we thought maybe it was Brax 1 and Brax 2, and they said no, it wasn't. And my mom was wondering if it was related to my um, adrenal gland cancer. And the doctor was like, no. But we, I saw a geneticist, and it was. It was diagnosed. My father passed away from cancer. Our cousins died from cancer. We had two cousins that died from cancer. And and we have uh, daughters ourselves, and they have a 50% chance of having the lymphomania gene, which they have a 100% chance of developing one of the 13 different kinds of cancer. So please get tested. You might think genetic testing is expensive. It's worth it. And this has just been, you know, running has made, it's gotten me through the darkest hours of my life. And you, if, I can, if I can do it, you can do it. And my sister, we're living proof that you can do it. And last year I had the opportunity to have my dream of running the Boston Marathon. And then this year I thought, oh, I get to do it again. <laughs> Bye,